time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. All right, let's start with uh, Amy Winehouse's dad. You know, people, of course, when somebody dies of notoriety, they run outside to their house. Right. This story is pretty big. Um, Amy Winehouse's father, Mitch, made another trip to her home in England apartment this week where the fans have just been camped out. Now, he greeted the supporters on Monday, thanked them, along with her mother, her brother, and uh, some other people. Of course, they go by the apartment on Thursday to remove some stuff from her house, and Mitch comes outside with a whole bunch of Amy Winehouse's things and gives them to the fans. Wow. Several tank tops, sunglasses, and other trinkets, according to The Sun, he said, these are Amy's t-shirts. This is what she would have wanted for her fans to have her clothes. Fans, of course, were stunned. Then he walked away and said, God bless Amy Winehouse. Wow. Well, he's trying to do, you know, something really good. I mean, I think positive for his for his daughter's fans and whatnot. Did you hear about the website, though? The death website. website. WhenWillAmyWinehouseDie.com. I right. saw it on the Today Show. Mm-hmm. Of course, for those of you that didn't hear it, there has been a website up since 2008, 2007, that lets people go on and guess when Amy Winehouse was going to die, and if you were accurate or you were correct, you win an iPod Touch. And a woman won, she predicted back in 2007 that she would die in this month of this year, and uh, yeah, they put up on the website a day after she died, congratulations to the winner. Um, Thank you for your music, rest in peace, Amy. That's awful. It is, I mean, it is absolutely awful, the fact that they didn't at least upgrade to an iPad 2. I mean, who wants a touch? I mean, I know she predicted it back in 2007, but look at all the advances that Apple has made since then. I would not have wanted to predict. Guess what? You were in a Sega. <laughs> that stinks. You're going to predict, you know, predict somebody's Did you death. Just say Sega. I'm just saying. Ooh, you want a Atari? Nintendo 64, boo. Come on, man. Yeah. At least that, you know what? You get the iPad too. Well, whatever. I'm just saying. All right. Shout it low with G Unit. Shut down the car and bike show. Now he's shutting down the uh, Red Bottom store. According to reports, he went into the New York store and uh, got three pair of designer sneakers, three thousand dollars a piece. For three pairs of shoes. The Red Bottom shoes that I wear. Huh? T- they have Red Bottom tennis shoes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You hear Rick Ross? He says that. No. They recognize the red bottoms that I wear. Okay, well, he also said he goes hang gliding, so um, I don't really <laughs> take everything he says the truth. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Keep going. What? He, did. he said he goes hang gliding and wherever. Why can't Rick Ross go hang gliding? Please! <laughs> why can't Rick Ross go hang gliding? It's a little something called gravity, Ryan, that's why. Everything has to come down. Whatever. All right, when he come up here. I'm just saying. There's when he come up here and sit on you, don't you say that. <laughs> I won't be able to. Ocho Cinco is a big baby. We all know that. Of course. He's high maintenance. Now that he's with the Patriots, he wants number 85. <laughs> Problem. Aaron Hernandez dominated last year at he tight really end. Did. He's number 85. Yeah. Chad says no number is too high. Oh, he will come out. That's his name. His name's Ocho Cinco. He's got to be saying. 85. No number is too high. Yeah. But you know what? That starts to get tricky, though, because a lot. although Aaron Hernandez is a second-year player and he's not making as much as Ocho Cinco, so a chunk of change seems nice, players are very superstitious. superstitious about those numbers. He had a great number right. wearing 85. Mm-hmm. You know, why would he switch now? It's going to be interesting what happens. See how much money it costs. Yeah. I don't know if this is true or not. We have grossly underestimated Soldier Boy's worth. Clearly. TMZ has a story that says that Soldier Boy is dropping $55 million on a private jet. A G5, he's giving it to himself as a birthday present. The jet costs $35 million, but he's adding an additional $20 million to put 12 custom uh, Italian leather seats in there, flat screen TVs, four liquor bars, a special tile floor, and Brazilian hardwood cabinets. And replacing the bathroom with a luxurious bathroom and getting a custom paint job and including his logo. Did Soldier Boy make that much money? I don't know. All I know is I thought you were about to say he's spending 20 million on rim, so I'm glad he's doing the other stuff. Good for you. You know what? I want him to spend 55 million and one dollar. And that one dollar go to Walgreens and just buy one nail clipper. 
You spent $55 million dollars on a jet. Boy, cut them nails. You were scaring us up here. That is your Ryan report. You. I ain't camera tell. You. <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. You know.